If you're running some kind of event or a festival, a conference, a retreat, a fundraiser, even an award ceremony, I'm going to show you how AI chatbots can really help your attendees get the most out of your event. And so here I've got uh, an event that's coming up this year. This is the Bournemouth Sevens event. It's been running since 2008. This is a, a massive sporting event, the biggest in Europe. You've got like 400 teams playing various sports. We've got 30,000 people uh, coming to see over 100 live acts. So it's a big event. So there's a lot of information. And, you know, not everybody has time or the inclination to go through the whole website looking for that bit of information, that question that they have to ask. So this is where having an AI chatbot where they can just naturally just type in some normal question like, hey, do you have lockers at the event? Uh, what time's last entry? All of that kind of stuff. And then the AI can answer all of those questions straight away immediately. And also you can have a QR code on various stands throughout the event where people can just use their mobile phone, scan the QR code and straight up comes the chatbot in their browser, ready to help them get the very most from the event. So I'm gonna make one and I'm gonna show you how you can do it too. And if you don't wanna do it, then you can have my team do it. But here's the website. So I'm gonna use FastBots right here. Uh, fastbots.ai. There's a link underneath this video if you want to do this as well. We offer a free chatbot for you to try out. And I'm going to first of all type in the name of the event. So in the case of this one, we're going to make one for Bournemouth Sevens. There we are. And I'm going to make it public. And now what we need to do is just give them uh, the chatbot, the website address, and it's going to scour the whole site and grab all of the pages so that the chatbot can learn from them. And we'll just click start. Oops, let's just get rid of that little party dash home. Otherwise, that's kind of saying that's all I want it to do. There we go. Done. So now we've got all of these different pages that are going to go into the chat bot. I'm going to click save. And now those pages are all going to be indexed. And I'm going to, you can see them all going in there right now. I'm also going to add in some other information. I've also found a brochure on the whole event. So for that, I can just click here and we'll just uh, grab that brochure and put that in as well. So the chatbot has got even more information about the event as well. Next up, I'm just going to tune the way that the AI responds to people. So I've got a prompt that I'm just gonna paste in right over here and we'll just replace that one. There we go. So that's now the instructions I've given to the chatbot on how I want it to respond when people ask questions. And then I'm just going to pick GPT-4 Turbo, which is a fast, intelligent uh, language model, an AI brain, if you will, that will respond to everyone's questions. Click save. And now we have a ready to go chatbot that could be embedded straight onto that website. Or as I say, people could scan a QR code and it would launch. And I'm going to make it now look really nice for the website. So I'll click appearance and we'll we'll put in a, a few bits and pieces. So first thing we want to do is put a title into the chatbot window. There we go. Bournemouth Sevens. Next up, I would like to... Um, upload a chatbot avatar. So we'll use their logo here. There we go. Bournemouth 7's logo. And then we'll use the same thing now for the little chat circle that's down the bottom right. And I quite like the blues that we've used for the, uh, the actual background of the messages. So I'm going to use that same blue just there like that. There we go for the little chat circle as well. And once I've done that, I can click save and it's job done. That is now ready. So let's start testing the chatbot and see how useful it would be to people who would use it on the website. And the first question I'm just going to try on the chatbot is who headlined the festival back in 2023? Now that information would probably be somewhere on the website. So hopefully it has got it. And there you are. Look at that. Um, the Bournemouth Sevens Festival in 2023 was headlined by the fabulous Katie B. She brought the energy and had everyone dancing, making it an unforgettable experience. Plus, we've had um, the debut of the C4 silent disco to keep the party going. And there you are. And what the chatbot has been told to do is to give answers in a nice, friendly, upbeat, kind of maybe even slightly humorous manner sometimes and then promote the event and get people to buy tickets. So you can see there, uh, make sure you sign up for access to the next ticket release Don't so you don't miss out. 
And here it is. It sent us straight to the correct page for people to sign up for the next ticket release. So it's answered the first question really, really well. Now let's try it out with something else. Um, let's just see if we can find out what dates the actual festival is gonna run this year. Press go, here we go. And it's having a little think about it. There you go, Bournemouth Sevens Festival this year. It's gonna be an absolute blast. And it's all happening on the weekend of the 25th, 26th of May, 2024. And they've got a little celebration you know, icon there and a calendar date. So it's got personality. The bot's got a bit of something about it. Uh, if you're thinking of camping, you can pitch up your tent from Friday midday and so on. And again, that little call to action at the end of it. If you haven't secured your tickets yet, don't wait too long. You can click here to sign up for the third release and it links straight through. Really, really good. Another question. Let's see if they have lockers at the event. And because the, the whole chatbot has just gone through the website there like that, and plucked out everything, all of the FAQs, the whole lot, then it's able to answer intelligently and it's done it again. Um, we've got your back when it comes to keeping your belongings safe. There will be lockers available at the festival for you to store your stuff and we'll be sharing more information on how to pre-book the lockers nearer to the date. So it's an absolute win. Now, this is all brilliant for the people that are using the chat bot uh, on the website or at the event. But what about for the actual event organizers? Well, from their point of view, they can go ahead and add more content to this chatbot if they want to. Anything that was maybe missing information wise off their website. And they can also see all of the chats that are taking place with their attendees. Really, really interesting. And then have them emailed straight through to one or more people in the Bournemouth Sevens team. And so they'll be able to have a look at the chats, see if it's been responding the way that they want it to. And if it's not, then we can make small amendments right here in this text section by putting what you would like it to say the next time that question has been asked. Now, of course, all of this is going to make the event so much more of a success because people have the information that they need when they need it without having to trawl through a big sort of large site with lots of information and brochures and all of that kind of stuff, which is all of this is very, very useful. Obviously, some people want to browse the site, but if you just want to get to the point and just find that information that you just haven't been able to on the site, then having access to that quick, accurate chatbot, giving a friendly, uh, good response is going to be absolutely invaluable. So if you are running any kind of event and you want to have one of these chatbots installed on your website or made available to attendees of your event, then do go to fastbots.ai and sign up for a free chatbot. Give it a try. Or alternatively, you can just have our team build and manage the whole thing for you if you don't want to do that. And there's a link underneath this video. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you again in the next one.